I need to put this here so that you can see. Oh! Ooh! Yes! Can we see? Ooh! Oh! It's anything, this suitcase is very, very heavy. I love the idea. But if it's anything, the muscles are made out of gold, darling. They don't pick up, they just are appreciated. <laughs> Hello darlings, welcome back to my YouTube channel where everything is absolutely rainbow darling. Huh, huh, huh. If it's any time actually that it's like been properly rainbow, it's today. I've always wanted to be part of a gorgeous initiative, especially during Pride Month, because I mean, it's Pride Month and every day is Pride Day. If it's anything you want to celebrate yourself all the time, but when it's something like this and so significant, definitely give it a bit of more of your time. Yeah? The Rainbow Project Closet. This is a social experiment that is ran, or rather spearheaded, by a gorgeous queen in South Africa. Trayvon Musa, darling. I'm not sure if he's alone, but if it's anything, the way we've been speaking, he's not even acting like in charge. It's let's get the suitcase moving. Ideally, where this whole thing comes from, the idea of it, is the fact that queer people always create spaces that are safe for themselves, where they feel welcomed, and because of the pandemic, it's been obviously difficult. Um, for queer people to create those spaces because of the numbers and limitation, and we already not necessarily excluded from society, but we don't want to limit which queens can be part of the game. So this is a gorgeous, um, gorgeous idea that can get to everyone that obviously is interested. The idea of this suitcase actually is to con continue, continue, Jay Warme, to continue connecting and to continue sharing stories, sharing love and continue being there for one another in different ways. And this is a great beginning of how to do that as queens darling we love fashion and if it's anything that is simple it's to share what you have and no longer using but the beauty about that is that this suitcase allows you not only to share like in a donation wise but to also help yourself darling if you feel like you need something new there or there <laughs> It's here. So if I read if I read this properly, I remember if you take like two, three, four um, items in here, you replace it with some of yours that you still love, but you believe someone else would give it more love than you have already. If it's like if those clothing items have worn out on your side. So yes, I really really love this initiative. Um, if you are a queen and you would love to be part of it, I'll put all the social media links down below in my description box so that you are able to contact them, follow them on their page and look at the suitcase moving around. Darling, this has been in Johannesburg. It's been to Bebeja, the plants. I've heard Nigeria. But if it's anything, where is it now? It's in Cape Town, darling. And who brought it to Cape Town? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so. I think opening this will be fabulous and also there's a bit of something to read that I'd love to share with you. Um, if it's anything, I feel so honoured to be part of this journey and seeing the suitcase move around and knowing that it's currently under my roof at the moment. I don't know everyone that has been part of it, I really don't, but I know I am right now. And also there are names. You leave your memory, you leave your mark, you leave everything that will make you remembered. Obviously I am Sitems. I will make sure. This is in gold, this is in black, this is in gold. I'll choose another color so that everyone knows that Sitems was here, darling. Anyway, let me open this. Um, oh. Uh, oh! God! Thank God I'm a man! So that I can do these things. Okay, let's open this. Because I'd love to share what is actually happening. Oh, God. Suitcase. One, two, three, and okay. So, because I would love to put it in the middle, it looks very interesting here. I have opened it, but I haven't really looked into it because I thought it would be authentic, organic to go th through it with you. But it says here, lovely. Hey fam, thank you for participating in this little social experiment. 
The Rainbow Closet is a donation-based traveling suitcase that will that we hope will connect with the queer people far and wide. The projects wanted to ask one simple thing. What is community and how do we sustain it? The word community has a strange power to it. It conveys a sense of togetherness and positivity. It speaks both to solidarity and homeliness. However, since the global pandemic, there, there have been fewer and fewer opportunities for many of the LGBT community members to really connect with, their, with each other. For many in our community, the spaces we previously created for connectivity were the only places we could build community. But one thing for sure, we are nothing if not creative, resilient and adaptable. It was with this in mind that the social experiment was birthed. That sounds beautiful. It sounds like Trayvon wrote it because he writes beautifully. I'll also just link his um, details for things that he's done um, or just directly to his page and you can see his resume. He's a fantastic queer, I don't want to label him as an activist because I haven't read that anywhere around his um, titles but if it's anything is one of the significant queer people as a young as a young girly i do look up into things that he puts out there and is definitely a voice that is significant and has contributed towards the queer community as a person that's still alive so sending you love darling what do we have here also i mean i'm very weird about my style and if it's anything i don't think It's going to be hard for me to find something. What is this? It's a shirt, which is a beautiful shirt. I, I do love a shirt vibe, but if it's any, it's Donna Claire, darling. If it's anything, I don't wear a lot of shirts. And I just want to check this. Oh, this is winter vibes. I don't know. I mean, so I don't have a mirror, but I have a, a I have a, oh God, hmm, no. Not this one, but I really do like the idea of such good quality. This is beautiful, like nothing's wrong with it at all. Like I said, you still love the item and it's still filled with energy and love, but you'd believe someone else will do better with it. Oh, the color here is flamboyant, it's intense, it's a darling. But what is her? Um, oh, she's a Jersey hoodie vibes, but she's also tiny. I love baggy hoodies. So this must go to a tinier person or a person that likes tight things. But for me, it would make me look like a boy, like a little baby. <gasps> I don't want to look like a little baby, nor like a boy. I want to look like Sitem's darling. Oh God. See everything the same way. <gasps> I love scarves. I definitely love scarves. I am the girl to arrive with a scarf. I mean, hello, hello, hello. Oh, sorry. There are also people watching me from the window and I'm just like, I don't care. Huh? So, shorts. Ooh, it's winter, but shorts. Um, I'm still scurrying through to see what I will like. There's also another side. There's literally two sides. That's why the suitcase is so heavy. Um... What's this? If it's anything, there's a lot of beautiful items here. Um, leave the fact that I can't fit in most of them, but I'm definitely sure I will find something that is really um, deep within my heart. Ooh. What's this? I showed you a little bit more than I, I was allowed to or need to or should have, but you are my darlings and I feel like you deserve to. This is adorable. I think I've got an item. I think I've got an item. Oh, I think I've got an item and I love this. I actually love this. It's cute, it's petite, it's no waste, snatched waist, gorgeous it is. And then, well, I'll try it on before I obviously take it. There's something that is packaged here and I love things that are packaged. Oh my god. Oh, this is what they meant. Oh, this is beautiful. So in here you write your story. Put it in an envelope. Um, 
I think this is amazing. I'm definitely gonna hop on this and I wanna do this when I'm done, but I, I was so confused. Where are the envelopes that I spoke about? Because they said, you write your story, you envelope it when it gets to Johannesburg at the end of it. Obviously, these stories will be shared. Um, this is lovely. Oh my God. But there's something packaged, and what is this? It's a medium. Women's femme. Medium, women. It sounds like me. What is this? Dry. If anyone thinks this is leaving this roof, I don't know. If it's anything, I think I found a gem in this bloody suitcase. I'm definitely sharing my story. Darlings, thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Um, remember, this is a this is a social experience. It's one of the very few and first things that have been done during this COVID. And I'm so proud of Trayvon. And thank you, and I'm fully honored to be trusted with this suitcase. <laughs>